Okay, this is going to be a short video about a 2005 Honda Accord that was getting a P0685 error code, which is an ECM, PCM, internal circuit malfunction power control unit. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you what the part is and what was happening. Um, what was This is the part, actually, I'll start with that. It's from AutoZone, uh, $40, called uh, just a relay. Um, could have found it online cheaper, but I needed it pretty quickly, and so AutoZone had it the next day. If I bought it online, I would pay a lot for shipping and had to wait, and so I decided to just get it from AutoZone. Um, so what was happening was the car would... Um, oh, the, the dash display, all the dials would go to the right and back to the left. Um, the power seemed to shut down on, you know, for example, the radio and, and everything. Just sort of acted weird. All the lights came on on the dash as well, the ABS and all those types of lights. So um, after hooking up to my machine and getting that error code, I went and got this part. Now this this relay is just pops in and out through hands. You don't need any tools. And where it's found is underneath the dash, so it's real easy. Now there are two uh, two little doors down here, and this car has a fancy speaker and radio system, so that's what that red wire is, so ignore that. Obviously, your car probably won't have that. Um, but if you take off the door uh, on the left-hand side, and I've already taken it off ahead of time, there's a fuse box. When you take off this door, it'll expose the fuses, which are the little ones, which are these they're yellow and blue and red, these smaller ones. Hard to get the camera in here, but... Here's the smaller fuses that that door will expose, but the relays that you need to replace are up here. So once you take off that door, you take off the rest of this plastic that's in front of it. It just unclips from under here and up here. You may have to force it a tiny bit, but um, I've taken it off a couple times and none of the clips have broken or anything. So once you take yours off, and again, just disregard this red wire. Um, once you take off a bigger piece of plastic, the relay will be third one, I'm sorry, the second one on the top row. Um, so here's the first one, and here's the second one, and that's the one I replaced. It's hard to see because the lighting and the camera, I'm sure, is not doing a good job of it. But it's the second one, just pop it out with your fingers and put the new one in, and then reassemble everything that I just took apart. And did that about a week ago, and I wanted to make sure that that took care of the problem before posting the video, and, and so far so good. It's been, um, like I said, about a week, multiple car trips, no additional problems. And so that's the little relay, and that's all there is to it. Um, good luck. Thank you.